Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to recreate the Madison beer top that I posted in the knitted version. But today we are going to be doing the crochet version of that top. So this top is highly textured. That's why I love it so, so much compared to the knitted version. I feel like this texture is richer. So that's why I had to actually make a tutorial out of it. So let's jump into the video. The materials that you're going to need are yarn. You can use any yarn of your choice. I'll be using Winter King uh, four ply acrylic yarn. Then I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook. Then a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and a measuring tape. I'll be taking some measurements as I work so that we achieve the same exact um, measurements for our piece. So I want to grab this middle string. So you're going to get your four millimeter crochet hook and you're going to make a slip knot. So after your slip knot, you're going to make a chain of 26. I'm very sorry for the background noise. There's some construction going on, but I hope I'm, I'm a bit more audible. So you're going to make a chain of 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 20. So we have our 26 chains here, and that measures about um, 7 inches. You can see that. So uh, for the knit version, I did 8 inches because I noticed the, that that version can really stretch when you stretch it out. Uh, horizontally and that makes the vertical measurement shorter so that's why I did a longer measurement for that so um, this version won't stretch as much as the knit version so after your 26 uh, chains you're going to chain one more which will make it 27 and then you're going to go into the second chain from the hook so not this one but this one and you're going to make a single crochet then you're going to go into the next stitch and make a double crochet then single crochet into the next and double crochet into the next single crochet into the next double crochet into the next and we are going to repeat that all the way across alternating between single and double crochet So we are coming to the end of our row and you should be ending your row with a double crochet into the very last chain. So after that you're going to chain one, turn your work and you're going to go into the very first stitch which is the double crochet and go into that stitch with a single crochet. Then go into the single crochet with a double crochet sorry go into the double crochet with a single crochet go into the single crochet with a double crochet so you'll notice the difference between your stitches the double crochets are a bit longer and they bulge then the single crochets are shorter so every double crochet will get a single crochet and every single crochet will get a double crochet and you're going to keep alternating between these two all the way across
Okay, so we are almost coming to the end of row two and we have two stitches left and you can see this bulge that means this is a double crochet so it will get a single crochet and then you end your row by placing a double crochet into the last single crochet so go in there with a double crochet so something to note is that every row starts with a single crochet and ends with a double crochet so this is almost obvious because we always end each row with a double crochet that means when we chain one and turn this is a double crochet so it gets a single crochet so each row starts with a single crochet and ends with a double crochet and you're going to keep alternating between these two stitches for each and every row until you get the length of the top that goes around your bust measurement and the bust measurement I'm talking about is the widest part of your bust so mine is 32 to 33 so I'm going to keep working my um, panel until this piece can stretch lengthwise until it can go around my bust or until I achieve my bust measurement when stretched keep that in mind when stretched because we want this top to be really fitting on us so I'm going to continue working until I have my 32 to 33 inches and then I'll be back to show you what to do next All right, so I went ahead to do my 65 rows and this stretches to my uh, desired length for my top. Keep in mind, you have to do it when stretched fully to your bust measurement, the widest part of your bust. But when it's not stretched, it's about 27 inches. You can see that. But when stretched, it can go up to 32 inches, which I want. So from there, you will chain one and cut your yarn. And at this point, you can go, go on and weave in your ends. Get your darning needle and weave in these tails. Go into a few stitches so that this can disappear. So after this you can cut and then do the same on the other side which is this we have a tail here I'm going to go ahead and weave it in not going through I don't know why okay so this is done so from this point you just have a long rectangle so you're going to place it here and now we're going to make a very long chain of about 200 chains so let's do that. You're going to make a slip knot. And you're going to make your chain of 200. So yarn over, pull through. And continue to do that until you have a chain of 200. So I have my 200 chains here. And after that, you're going to just cut and pull through and fasten off. 
and now you're going to reintroduce your dunning needle and you're going to put this tail through the dunning needle like that and you're going to determine what side or what you're going to determine your top side or whatever side you want your uh, body to face so I have my stitches here and I also have my stitches here so this will be my top side maybe so once you identify the top side you're going to go in and out of every stitch so there's a single crochet here and there's a double crochet so you're going to go in and out of every stitch let me just do it from this side because I can see clear on this side in and out of every stitch every single stitch like that out so we have this so since I told you this is my top side I'm going to remove my chain from the dunning needle and then I reconnect it to the downer side the other end of the string or your strap and then you're going to do the same exact thing you're going to go in and out of every stitch Make sure you don't skip any stitch. And then you're going to pull that through and look at what we have right now you can do this and that's exactly what we want our top to look like and this top can be worn in several ways I'll be attaching a photo for you guys to see uh, the seven different ways you can wear this top So this is what we've come up with these are the straps that are going behind your neck so it will depend on what styling you guys would like for your top so that's really up to you but this is how simple this uh, tutorial and project is I believe it's workable and in case you receive like bulk orders it can be really quick for you guys to make some money off it so Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.